Hi, I'm Gary Noland. I'm here with my exhibition, Base Materials, at Cleve Carney Gallery. I first met curator Justin Witte at Tiger Strikes Asteroid in Chicago in 2017. And subsequently, he visited my studio uh, in Los Angeles, and uh, we decided to do an exhibition together. There's a process-oriented piece made from the April 1972 issue of National Geographic called, If Your Six-Year-Old Saw Something Like This, Would He Know How to Phone for Help? I made the first one in 1995. So I had all the National Geographics in the studio because I was using them for other elements in my, my practice at the time. And I just simply started carving into, into the issue with an X-Acto knife. And it was there that it seemed something like a found poem in the magazine. So I've done something in there, collage and photo montage and some, and some editing to generate interest beyond what the original publication of the magazine looked like. So I'm altering the narrative of the, the original narrative of the National Geographic and then subverting it into my own narrative so that there's a meaning within each magazine relating to the one that's next to it. The piece that's on the floor behind me, Anchor, the wood came from a demoed building. The piece of foam was a discarded uh, polystyrene. It's called dock foam. And then the, the painted rebar had been in our backyard for maybe 30 or 35 years. It was a tool that my grandfather used. It occurred to me one day, I should take this into the studio and see what it can be. And uh, it became a metal apparatus for this sculpture called Anchor that uh, seems to mimic what a boat would look like at the dock with the wooden block being the boat, but the blue foam being the water. So those positions are reversed. Uh, it's a very subtle suggestion of, uh, you know, who's in charge. Then the, the painted rebar gets placed on them and it is in the shape of an anchor. And it adds a really important linear element to those blocky wooden and foam shapes. I think it's inherent upon me to make things interesting for people who are looking at them. Just try to find the most common material and employ common verbs to it, like cut and uh, collage and position and glue and to edit and make them something different. Although I agree that they are sculptures, I consider them sort of a, of a uh, dynamic kind of painting. And I consider the paintings different forms of sculpture. And you know, there are really no secrets to anything, how anything is made in this show. It's all things that we find in thrift stores or in an alleyway or, or in a dumpster. And it's all these common verbs that I talked about. So I just, I think I want people to uh, come away with feeling that, you know, something else is possible.